my God. Yes, Lord. To heal, my God. Yes. Heal the hearts of her daddy, my God. Her mama, my God. Yes. Her siblings, my God. All her friends, my God. Yes. Heal the hearts of our community, my God. Yes, Today, friends and family helped honor Anissa Scott, who was shot in the head on Tuesday. She was a passenger in a car, and police believe the driver was the intended target. Jamie Perez tells us how community members came together to share their grief this morning as Anissa was taken off of life support. Tahalia Mohedin shares how a motorcycle group is honoring her tonight. Before we go to them, we're hearing from the governor about this homicide. Amy Reed spoke with him today. Amy? The governor, the mayor, our politicians see what's happening as unacceptable and both want to see changes, whether in policy or practice, to make it stop. Any kind of gunplay is unacceptable and it's just made more uh, real and more heartbreaking when it impacts a bystander and when it impacts an 11-year-old. Little girl. Governor Tony Evers said this death of 11 year old Anissa Scott is unacceptable. We need to um, take a deep breath as a, as a state, as a country. Evers said Anissa's killer needs to be arrested, which police are working on. Madison Mayor Satya Rhodes Conway views her job and the Common Council's as working to stop similar shootings from happening again. It's a longer term thing, uh, but it doesn't have to be years and years of conversation first, right? We could just invest in some proven models. Um, in fact, we have the groundwork laid for us already here in Madison, um, and I do think it's time for us to act. She talked about this and other safety efforts in a virtual speech to the city today. In addition to prevention, she said the city will begin a pilot program for a medically trained crisis response team, which can respond to those in mental health crisis, ultimately lightening the load for police. As I've talked with police here in Madison, they recognize that they are not the answer to all our problems and in fact are overworked, stretched thin, and often without the tools needed to address the problems they see in our community. At the state level, Evers wants to see lawmakers address gun safety as he attempted last year, but added conversations need to start in the community. Gun owners in the state, and the vast majority of them, are good uh, Americans that keep their guns safe, but we need to find ways to uh, get the guns out of hands of people that um, are using them unwisely. Madison's mayor said she also wants to see Common Council attack the issues that she says lead to violence, like lack of affordable housing, access to health care, and inequity in the city. Now, dozens got together at Brittingham Park for a balloon release in Anissa's name. That's where we find our Jamie Perez, who shares what happened there earlier today. Right, Amy, it was a very emotional filled day today as dozens gathered here hugging, praying and crying in Anissa's name. And earlier today, they launched uh, balloons, about several dozen of them in her honor, right at 1111, just as she was being pulled off of life support. Her family is hurting and the community is hurting as well from this tragedy. And right now, police are still looking for help from the public to find out who did this. But it's not just police who are begging someone to come forward. It could be your baby. It could have been my baby. It could have been anybody, baby. So if y'all want somebody to speak up for y'all kids, y'all have to speak up for other people's kids. I know it's scary. I know the rules. I know if you if you snitch, you get stitches. Forget all that. You have to snitch. You have to tell. Or else they're gonna keep killing our kids. Next time it might be yours or mine. So if you saw anything, know something, or have any information that could help police, these friends and families who are out here today are begging people to come forward to help bring justice for Anissa and her family and to stop the gun violence from happening. Jamie and Amy, thank you both.